this week's project is to turn this bit here into a um, vegetable patch. I've got a patch of soil here that a couple of years ago was just a pile of horse muck so that needs weeding and rotivating. This is last year's one of them. So that pile of muck and straw and hay from outside the farm, uh, out the sheep pen was here and that's all rotted down. The hens were in here, so that's covered in chicken muck and they've had a lot of the weeds so that needs rotivating. This bit has been under a carpet for a year so hopefully relatively weed free. I'll shift that little house and then this pile of straw, hay and muck. Um, not sure what to do with it, whether to do use no dig potatoes or just let it lie there and rot. A bit like that one, um, ready for dealing with next year, don't know. And then this bit here, I'm going to move that chicken pen to here and get the chickens back outside because um, they've been in for a long time because of the avian flu. So I shall move this and um, net it over. New thistles will grow from each of these roots, um, so I need to get them out as best as possible. They'll grow back, but each time they grow back they'll be a little bit weaker and eventually um, I'll be able to get on top of them. So you'll notice we've got a very heavy clay soil and during the winter and whenever it rains it gets very wet here. So I need to think about when I plant this stuff, whatever goes here, um, it's quite happy with heavy clay soil and doesn't mind the occasional sitting with its feet in water for a little while. So I've moved the old chicken enclosure uh, marked out with these metal posts, the rectangle which I'm going to rotivate 
in a little while. I've moved the carpet, built the new chicken enclosure and um, this is where the carpet came from and I've started to dig it over. Um, but it's hard work with my old back so I'm going to have a break and come back to it in a little while. So the six light Sussex crosses um, have been put in the new chicken run. There's a um, discussion at the moment um, about whether to plough or not to plough, whether to dig or not to dig. Um, but looking at the reasons for digging and turning over the soil is one to um, improve drainage. This soil is quite compact and as I mentioned earlier it gets very wet so digging it over will help the drainage. It will also help aerate the soil. Uh, so I think as long as we don't dig it over too much and too often um, it should be fairly beneficial to this little patch. Um, of allotment I'm digging. While I've got the big rotavator out, I've started on Jane's uh, dahlia patch. Only took a few minutes, and um, after the last couple of years manuring it, it's really nice soil. Time for lunch, um, so I'm just finishing off. So I've got this patch done. Um, soil's very, very wet there. Probably going to have to take that bit of tin away so the sun can get down dry. This bit from last year where the um, hay and straw rotted in, um, absolutely lovely soil. So I shall probably do the same with that up there and just leave it to rot down. It was really easy to rotivate um, and it's nice soil. Um, that's the bit where the chickens were. So that's been rotivated. Um, as you'd expect, it's never been dug over, it's been grass for decades, if not centuries. So it needs a bit of treatment uh, with some um, organic matter going in at some point. But time for lunch. <laughs> 